All right, so we're here to uh, go over how the biology program fills out their assessment planning document. Uh, so we're going to walk through the way that we do it, and I'm here with Stephanie Loveless, Amanda Puffenbarger, Virtue Carlin, and I'm uh, Wendy Brown. We're gonna go through how we do it. It's not the, a correct way to do it, or it's not an incorrect way. There is no right way to do it, uh, so, but this is how we do it as a program. Okay, so we're gonna start by going ahead and opening up the document that we're gonna be filling out. And that is the assessment planning form. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it uh, the way that it's supposed to be saved. So using this uh, general um, file saving. So it's assessment plan underscore the gen ed that we're doing is critical thinking and the program is biology and the dates so this is going to be a uh, fall so let's go ahead and put in a uh, September 1st of 2021. So now let's take a look at the actual document that we're going to be filling in. And uh, so filling in this document, we want to start out by uh, 2020, 2022, click here uh, to put the assessment plan for the biology department. So we're going to change this to say biology program. and uh, general education outcome assess. So our GEO is, again, critical thinking. And here's where we want to put our program outcome. And so I'm gonna go take a look at what our program outcomes are uh, listed at, and we're gonna look to see which one makes the most sense for critical thinking out of this. Uh, list and it looks like our first one here students will be able to apply the scientific method to course related problems Does that sound about right? Yep. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one into the document And so now what we're gonna do is decide as a program uh, What classes we want to assess for critical thinking keeping in mind we want to assess at least 70 to 80 percent of all of our biology program classes. Okay, so keeping that in mind, uh, I know I teach, uh, Virtue and I, we teach Biology 100, and I think we can probably do an assessment on that one. We definitely do some critical thinking there. So I'm gonna put that one in as well as Biology 101. 136. Okay, so 136 is AMP1, so we'll put that one in. And I'll do 102, definitely. Okay, so biology 102 is our principles of biology. But I'm not sure about like 104 and 103 because they're only offered once a semester, and so it's harder mm -hmm. to get those repeat assessments okay. on that, especially because 103 doesn't always go Okay. because of enrollment. Okay, okay, so let's leave those off for now. Okay. I think that's a, a good plan. We can probably plan. add 104 if I need to. But. Okay. Uh, I could definitely do biology 140. Uh, that's microbiology. We do a lot of critical thinking in that. Um, 137. I only have it. one section this fall, the eight week. Right, so I only teach it once a year, one semester out of a year, so I can't really compare it either. Okay, so you think we should leave off 137, just hit them with 136 assessment? In that course, does that give us? I'd like to. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. We also have 105. We could probably do. Let's see. Oh, the, yeah. We can do a course-related problem for 105. It doesn't have a lab component, right? But we definitely can do some kind of. Is it is our goal 70% of our students or our courses? 70% of our courses. How many courses do we have? Well, let's see. We still have. Um, 150, which is botany. That's only taught once a semester and very few students. Right, so I'm not sure. I, that's yeah, it. I would say let's leave that one off. Uh, what else do we have left? I think the only that's about yeah, it. I think that's mm -hmm. it. 103, 104, yeah. and 105. So I think if we put in 105, I think that's, that's going to really 
um, be close to that 75% mark. Okay. Um, so let me if you could row. Okay. Okay. Uh, so next uh, column, uh, choose a campus. Uh, for the most part, I think all of them are taught on the DACC campus. Do we have any that are taught at the high school that we know of? Or I know um, Department of Edu uh, Corrections, we do teach Biology 100 at the DOC. I hear that we are going to be out there again this fall. So let's go ahead and put uh, DOC as well as the DAC campus for this one. So for the rest, it's just DAC. I think the rest is just going to be DAC. Mm -hmm. I'm not aware of any place else that we would teach that. So now let's go ahead and choose our course outcome that we're going to be assessing. Students will be able to do what? Uh, so we have to visit our main master syllabi uh, or our course outlines, which should have the same thing that our syllabi have so we can find the course outcome that we want to plug in there. So I'll let everyone, I'll do it the uh, 100. Okay, so I think for 100, uh, apply the process of science through observation, experimentation, and hypothesis testing. That makes sense, doesn't Definitely, it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's perfect, Amanda. That was the only one I could yeah, think of that's out of all of them. That's the one that I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, that's the only one with critical thinking in it, so. All right. And I believe that's the same, we have that same one in the Biology 101 Human Biology class. So I'm going to just put that in there as well. Um, and for Biology 140, um, I have the students do a formal research lab report on their antibiotic discovery lab. Uh, so I think that this particular outcome would be a good one to do for the microbiology class. So for 105, for the learning outcome, I'm thinking evaluate environmental science issues in current news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I think that's a great one. Okay, modality. Uh, biology 100 that's completely face-to-face, -face, right? We don't have anything but face-to-face -face for that one. Biology 101, we do both face-to-face -face as well as um, completely online. 136, you do face-to-face -face and hybrid. That makes Is sense. That an okay abbreviation. Yep, that's okay. perfect. Uh, Stephanie, you do both? Yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, We'll do what face to face for 105 and, and online. Online, okay. yeah, all online. Um, and so biology 140, same thing. We'll do a face to face as well as the online hybrid. Okay, uh, assessment activity. Any ideas what we should do, or are we each doing our own thing, or are we doing one big program thing? Well, we can um, do something that's similar, or we can do something more general. So, for instance, for the Biology 140, I was probably going to use their um, formal lab report that they write at right. the end of the semester, because that has them developing a hypothesis, evaluating data, and developing conclusions. Uh, yeah, I was going to use my cell transport lab with the Q. Yeah, activity. so we can do individual yeah. lab activities for some of the courses. I'll, I'll probably just do the formal lab report at the end. Um, can, we about, just, can we just state a lab activity where they're right, as long as they're writing a hypothesis mm -hmm. and drawing? Sure. I mean, can we just state something yeah, like general? as our yes. activity, yes. just yes. be like a lab-based activity in which students mm -hmm. generate a hypothesis and evaluate data based mm -hmm. off of experimentation? Except for Biology 105, we don't have a lab. So we can say a lab I'll or lecture-based activity yeah, as long okay. as you state your okay. yeah. lecture. But they won't be coming up with hypotheses if they're evaluating information from the, a news source. Like, so they won't mm -hmm. be doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, we can give them a scenario problem as well. That they're just using the news article for data backup. Right. 
Mm -hmm. like as their, an their activity source, where they have their professional right. source, mm -hmm. and they, they have, have to, to evaluate it right. based off of that. Okay. 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 You want to yeah. type that in? Evaluate conclusions. Develop evaluate data. Evaluate data. And data develop to conclusions. Draw. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. To draw conclusions. Is that all we need to say? I think so. I think okay. that's, uh, we'll cover all of our classes. Right. right. I think, yeah, a more general statement is easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our last column is to establish our program benchmark. 80% um, again. Does 80% sound reasonable we want at least 80 percent of our students to Scoring get proficient or proficient or, or better so a b or better 80 percent okay. a b or better okay that's not going to happen for my class but okay <laughs> it mine didn't happen last okay. year yeah so. i don't i, I won't be like anywhere near that i'll, yeah, I was gonna say, I'll not be so. anywhere near that but that's fine 70 i at least have hope 80 i don't have <laughs> percent of students assessed Will perform at a level defined as proficient or above. Yes. I've got the wrong I'll, thing. Too. I got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's teamwork right there. Okay, so just a couple more things we have to do to finish this document. Describe your reasoning for choosing the assessment activity. Kind of a staple of science, science yeah, is, is, is to be able to okay. using hypotheses to evaluate. In yeah. fact, this is our easiest assessment, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's cultural, it makes me uh, yeah, right. Cringe. Yeah, so this is this right up our alley. For us. Yeah, uh -huh. this is our this is our moment. <laughs> um, hypothesis testing is a foundational. Discovery in science? Sure. Okay. I don't know why it's okay, is that good? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Oh, okay. How was the uh, program established benchmark determined? So we don't have an outside body that determines our standards. It is just so what just we have consistent. decided as our standards for all four of the general education outcomes. So we decided as a program mm -hmm. to set the 80% standard of proficiency for yes. all of for all our assessments. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that covers uh, what we needed to do. We all happy with that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.